Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get rid of that music. How is everyone going this morning? Good morning. We've got a whole heap of people watching already on Facebook and YouTube. Good morning, Tracy, Katrina, Linda. Yay! Excited to see my project. Ooh, better be good and I better come up with the goods. My name is Alisa Tilsner. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia and uh, I come live to you every Thursday morning at this uh, time. It's 10 a.m. my time, which is South Australian time. And uh, we do a little bit of card making in the morning. I used to plan my projects, but now we just wing it. We wing it. <laughs> so you get to see all my boo-boos and um, you guys get to have input sometimes because sometimes they get stuck. So it's usually you'll try and try and make it quite interactive. Good morning, everyone. Oh, Jen, Jennifer, oh, that's no good. Jennifer is on watching on Facebook, but she's in hospital, so that is not good. I hope um, I hope it's nothing too major for you. Um, so hello, everyone. It has been crazy time, don't you think? It has just been like whoa. Especially if you're a demonstrator, there's um, catalogs retiring, new catalogs coming out, color refresh going on. There's so much going on and um, it's just like exhausting at the moment. Love the winging it philosophy. I'm so <laughs> glad. Sometimes um, I think, why do I do this to myself? But uh, the reason I wing it is basically time. I'm sure if I'm sure just like everybody else, if we didn't spend so much time doing the things that we shouldn't do, we probably get time to do things that we should be doing. <laughs> I'm not going to say what things, but we all know. <laughs> Hello from Michigan. Hello, Deb. OK, let's get this camera swung around and we can discuss what is going to be created today. So yesterday, I don't know whether you saw it. I put on my Facebook page whether we should use um, was it hand hand penned what's it called penned flowers dies or the artistic dies and artistic dies won out i didn't actually go back this morning to double check but i'm pretty sure that these guys won out now for the technique that i'm doing today and it's not my technique i've spotted it on my um scrolls along the way it was like one of those short form videos and i was like oh that looks interesting maybe we should try that but you do need to have an intricate die and uh the only intricate dies that i actually have was the hand penned um the penned flowers which matches the hand penned stamp set or the artistic one so the artistic inked bundle this is sticking around it did make it to the new catalog so it is sticking around but the hand penned one is not the hand pen one is actually a smaller die, but uh, this one I just I actually didn't think to check to make sure that it would fit my card size, but it does. So that's okay. So we're going to use this one. Um, another, uh, I don't know whether it's in the main catalog or whether it's in the um, there's a hollyhock one. I don't know whether it's in this main catalog. There's the hand the hand penned one right there but there's a hollyhock one as well and i thought that one would be really good um it might be in a mini catalog uh but i don't have it so i think it's i think it's a hollyhock one it's one of those ones um oh i don't even know it's one of those layering ones if there was a stamp set for it it may the ginkgo um would actually look really good that one would probably suit this technique as well but there was one it must be it must be from a previous catalog i know it's not new but now i don't know where it is anyway i spotted it somewhere along the way so i may have even spotted it online i don't know anyway anything that's got this type of detailed die or this one this one would do pretty well anyway let's Stop the waffling and let's get going. So we are going to die cut this. And I am just going to die cut it from black cardstock. Oh. Now, the one that I saw, she had cut it from white cardstock. And then she, because you need both pieces. You need the negative and you need the detailed die. And I thought, well, I'm just going to cut it from black because um, that way I can utilise both pieces without having to use white cardstock as well as black cardstock so you just want to place it where your final resting place is going to be so if i have it like that that's what it's going to look like on my card front 
Okay, if I have it like that, that's what it's going to look like. Oh, I suppose I could turn my card upside down, couldn't I? But I can't have it like that because, oh, I suppose I could have it like that. It's a bit squishy to the edges, but I reckon we could manage that. I was going to try and see whether I can trim it down a little bit afterwards, but anyway. Oh, get my thought process. I am so tired. I've had early morning after early morning early morning i got up and i oh, excuse me this this detail dies take a little bit now i am going to run this through twice because there's got a little lot of stuff for me to die cut um so it's been constant early mornings i don't even i can't even remember what my days are got up placed my pre-order that was super early in the morning I thought I would do expedited shipping because I'm going away in May and I want to try and get ahead. And, of course, it went out in a timely manner. It was shipped, got my shipping notice at, like, 10 a.m. And I thought, woohoo, this is awesome. And, whoops, I'm going to have to die cut that again, I think. And then, since then, it has sat in Sydney for two days for my expedited fast shipping. I think I'm going to have to die cut that again. I'm pretty sure. So that was a little bit disappointing. Oh, I was hoping all my best laid plans and all that sort of stuff, right? Ooh, there we go. I can feel it tighter this time. Hello, Becky. Now, Becky, I need to put up the standalone um, thingy. I haven't done that yet. I haven't forgotten, though. I have not forgotten. The legendary ride. There we go. That's got it all. See, sometimes you've got to run it through a couple of times just to make sure that we've got all the way through and turn, definitely turning it around. I might just do one more as well. Turning it around on different angles, definitely got it. Good morning, Kerry. So, oh, there we go. Now I can really feel that too. So that'll give me a really good, a really good go. So now. As I explain every time, so we need both pieces. We need that one and we need this one. Um, I might come back and do that one in a moment, though. I do not give measurements uh, for my cards as we are creating, but if you would like to sign up to my newsletter, which has got alisatilsner.com. That way? I can't get my hand right. That way. Down there, <laughs> it's an awkward bend. Um, you can head on over to my blog and sign up for my newsletter and you will get two free card tutorials when you sign up originally. And then every Friday I send out my Step Up newsletter and you will get an extra uh, or a weekly free tutorial and it is usually the card that we are making today. So that way you've got a written copy and you've got a visual copy. Now don't shoot me and don't freak out but I am going to stick this to my card front and then I'm going to take it off later okay so I'm only going to use a tiny bit so don't freak out so this is going to be my stencil okay so we want to line that up I've got them both the same size laying it up and I'm just going to press gently because I do want to take this stencil off later and then my colour combination, which I'm hoping will be pretty. I've got Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide and Parakeet Party. So, but I'm not going to do the leaves in green and I'm not, you know, I'm not going to do that. Type. I suppose I could. I wonder if that would be too tricky. Probably. I'm just going to do a gradient. So we'll start off with that. So we're going to just ink lead. Now, purple. So what does everybody think of the retiring list? Was there things? Did you get everything that you wanted to get? I'm going to dab that off because I know this is going to be pretty strong. Did you get everything that you wanted to get? I did not. I've been telling you guys, I should follow my own advice, right? I've been telling you guys if there's stuff that you want, get them. Grid paper is one of them, which is why I'm folding it over and using the other side now. The grid paper sold out lickety split. I didn't think it would. So now I've missed out. This is the only pad I have of it. I'm a little bit upset about that. But you know what? I didn't follow my own advice. I waited for it to come on the retiring list and I missed out. So that is my booby, right? 
<laughs> and the shimmer paper that's gone as well I do have a full pack of that because I do lots of my techniques on shimmer paper and now I'm really upset like this technique could be done on shimmer paper and it would look so pretty all right I've got a bit of I'll come back and fix that I've got a little bit of um let me show you I've got a little bit of like scratchiness going on can you see that so I'll try and come back and fix that a little bit later all right next I'm going to move into my Tahitian Tide so and as predicted the colors the ink refills all sold out pretty quick but there is still lots to be had and lots of bargains because there's a lot of things that are up to 60% off. So do go checking through the list. How pretty is that? So what I do first is just lay my colours down. So you can see I've got pretty harsh lines going on through the middle there. And then I usually come back and fix up those lines. And as you know, I like to add my colours. So I do that as well. And then green on the bottom and I figured that my blue would probably be quite a heavy blue so I have actually got some accent colors to go with that like for my sentiments and stuff so all right now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go hard Oh, actually, you know what? I shouldn't go too hard because otherwise I'll miss my second step and I won't be able to do. I'm just going to do some ink blending because we've got a second step to go over the top of this. So it's sort of like a two-step stencil type thing. But I do want to make sure that I've got all those edges because I didn't have that point down there. So does anybody have plans for Easter? How's that? Pretty, pretty, pretty. That's looking quite yellow, don't you think? It looks a bit. It's parakeet party. I'm used to. I'm used to using Granny Apple Green, so maybe that's why. I'm going to come here and just do that little bit there. I think I'm just looking forward to having a sleep in brunch with the family. Nice, very nice. Okay. So that's my first step. Now, these are all retired. I apologise. I didn't realise how many I had. These, well, that one's actually not retired, the loveliest layers. But I have got so many retired stencils, I had no idea. But I do believe that I have picked one out. So they are retired and there are new ones coming. Um, so this one is from the Adorning Design. And I just want a small... Um, I don't want a big pattern I just want a small pattern to go over the top of it so what I'm going to do now is just lay that down and I probably should stick it down but you know what I'm not going to so I'm just going actually you know what I should <laughs> don't mind me I have some washi tape around here somewhere I wonder if this will be enough I should do the right thing and hold things down shouldn't I Hello. Hello. Oh, there we go. Uh, Phillip Island. Oh, oh, you are in Phillip Island already. Oh, the little penguins. Oh, that would be so cute. That would definitely be a fun thing to attend. But yes, freezing cold. I have heard um, that it is freezing cold. What doing the penguin thing? There we go. Just to give a little bit of hold radio okay so now we're going to go over the top again so which is why it pays not to go too heavy the first time right so over the top of that try and keep in the same lines as what you were doing you could have done these on a little bit of an angle as well because the reveal afterwards is what's going to be fun with this technique. So more Tahitian Tide. So if you had like little spots or something, I would I would definitely try and keep this to like a small pattern top top stencil. 
me and then my whatever green this is, Parakeet Party. How's that? Oh, that's made a really, really pretty colour. I can see it. You guys can't. I'll show it up to the screen in, when I'm done. But where the, the blue and the green have hit, it has made a really, really pretty colour. Hey, maybe we should put that in for colours for... I think they've already picked out colours for next year, but maybe the year after. Some of these would be pretty. That's what they should do. Do a whole heap of ink blending of colours and see what new ones they can get because that actually between the blue and the purple is quite pretty as well. Okay, I think I am, I hope I'm going to be happy with what I've done because now is the reveal time. Okay. Radio. Let's go. Let's do the reveal. All right, so there's my first reveal. So I'll bring that up. There's my first reveal, which you're probably all going here. Get them out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is just really, really carefully, I'm going to twist it a little bit and that will come off. So even though I did use seal on it, if you twist it a little bit, it does actually come off. You don't need that piece and then I've got a little bit of sticky on here make sure your hands oh, make sure your hands are clean and I'm just going to rub that little bit of adhesive off without tearing my card there we go interesting don't you think Right, so then the next bit is I need to come and poke all these guys out. So it might be this, that's why I wanted to run it through quite a few times because I didn't want to be sitting here with you guys watching. How on earth did I get car ink right up the side of my hand? I haven't done that for a while. chat about this morning all right I think I'm nearly there see all these little tiny bits that you think oh where are they from oh, these few Who's got some topics we can chat about while I'm boring you to tears by poking all these bits and pieces out? No, oh, and everyone's really quiet today. Maybe everyone's gone to, um, oh, look at that. I think I've got them all. Perfect. That didn't take as long as what I thought. Excellent. You know what? This will be actually a reasonably quick card I think I've got a few bits stuck in there still I'll get them out later I will get them out later alrighty so now I have also got so I've got this and I've got that and basically this then goes and sticks over wait a minute where does it go that sticks over the top of that so you end up with that type of lip yeah shimmer paper is gone I am are you that a lot actually no, i've got ink everywhere that's come off my hand Look, i've got ink everywhere jeepers what is new though right that's right so i've got um just thick basic white card and what i was hoping to do was to cut down cut down this panel a little bit and pop it on the top and then just pop a little bit of uh, the Tahitian Tide because I thought that that would be being the middle colour would probably have a lot of that colour in there but um, that's quite pretty so let's see if I can cut that down the 
might be able to cut down the top and the bottom a little bit and then I can perhaps pop a little bit of layering on those so that sort of brings it a little bit more into a square thing I'll bring that up and show you so can you imagine if this was done on shimmer it would be pretty right anyway it is what it is there's nothing we can do about it maybe they've got something coming up for us in the future and then I was going to do my happy birthday in the blue as well so I'm feeling like this would be really pretty in pink but I thought no I always do pink I always do pink let's try and get out of pink and do something else I'm gonna see whether I can trim just a smidge off of these edges and I think I've got I think I had a little edge showing anyway so there's a little bit of blue on there and I might be able to smidge I get a smidge off of that edge too oh that's pretty close that's pretty close all right because then I can put that over there and then maybe I could put that along there maybe I should stick my black down so I've got a better idea of what I'm doing so I've got a lot of white going on or maybe I should even just have a colored base <gasps> oh got an idea got an idea sorry guys hang on I have to shift some cardstock to get my other cardstock out what if I did a Tahitian Tide card base with a little bit of that and how far is my how far away is that oh there it is you know what I should just bring a, a sheet of all the colors that oh, I'm working with all right maybe I need more color I need more color good morning Nicole okay so I am thinking maybe let's just go for color let's get rid of white I'll put you out the back let's go for color and maybe we can do some accents in that color and then a little bit more oh look how handy is it when you find scraps maybe I could do a little bit of that how handy is it when you find scraps in your cardstock very handy thank you very much very very handy love it oh a black mat I have to be careful with my amount of black card stock because I've only got a couple of sheets left and I need it to cut kits and I actually ordered some in my pre-order that I expedited that is still sitting in Sydney two days later I thought for sure I would have it today um, you know I thought oh overnight sh you know fast shipping they say two days but I have it today sadly not I knew it's gonna happen to me right it always happens to me all right so let's try again so let's do this we're gonna put black. I should stick that black on there so that I've got a better idea hey what's going on now why aren't you oh that's okay because I'm twisting it and then we've got some scraps okay now we're now we're talking I could even leave it the full length as well or I could bring it down and make it smaller what do you reckon bring it out to the edge all right full length or shorten it I'm gonna stick this on because then I might be able to oh, yeah. okay I'm gonna stick this on you guys can give me some suggestions good morning Anna uh, oh thank you all I thought I always do pinks right so I'm getting out of my I'm getting out of my uh, regular and I'm doing some other colors so I've got and you'll probably start hearing noises now because my I think my hubby's leaving he's going to do a job my son's just gotten up out of bed because he's 
a lazy uh, uni student. Actually, I shouldn't call him a lazy uni student. He stays up way too late working on his assignments and then he sleeps in in the morning, which is probably not a good habit. You should get up earlier and work on his assignments and then go to bed properly, right? Uh, have I got enough? Of course, if you are a little bit more sensible than me, you could probably use that adhesive sheets and then you wouldn't have to use so much glue. All right, let's get this down uh, around in the right direction. And we're going to pop that straight over the top. So all my little, my little filigree stuff will get covered, but all my lacy stuff will be fine. And I've just got to bend that out. All right, and then I'm just going to pop a big block on it to hold it all down. Make sure your block is clean. Mine is probably not. Yeah, it's teenagers for you. I know, he's a little bit past the teenager age though. It's going to be 22 next month. Can you believe it? 22. Okay, same length as the white. Okay, that I can do. Which is... Rodeo. I'm not telling you because you have to sign up to the newsletter to find out. <laughs> the address is on my blog there, on my on the screen, sorry. So you can head over to, I'm going to make sure this is straight. You can head over to my, you can probably see it on the screen anyway. Um, but if you head over to my blog, which is alisatilsner.com, you can sign up for my newsletter and you will get the tutorial, written tutorial for this tomorrow morning, my time. Always my time. All right, and now I'm going to do a sliver of this, but I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter, I think. So we'll do that, we'll do that. That'll come to the edge. That will come part way. Then I will have my white. And now I'm just going to do my sentiment. So, and I'm thinking that, excuse me, my sentiment will be on the Tahitian Tide. So I will white emboss that and happy birthday. This one is so used. I have had to put sticky, my own sticky on the back of it because my cling has run out of stick. Because it gets, it's probably my most used happy birthday. Alrighty. See, now we're getting into it. I like it when things start to flow a little bit. I was having a little bit of trouble when I was on the white and you could probably tell because I was like, no, I wasn't really talking very much. But now I'm a, I'm a good, I'm all good. I'm a go-go. I'm a go-go. I like it when things happen. Okay, cool. Done. Right, I'm just going to emboss that piece. So, excuse the noise. Oh, you know, I've got what the, from this, okay. Where on earth I have got it all over my desk, and I've just looked over on my back bench. And I have got it all over my back bench as well. So surely I can't have got it from that. What the heck? It is all over my back bench. I will take a photo of it and show you. It's like, how on earth does it spread like that, that quickly? Thankfully, I can probably just wipe it off because I've got like a plastic sheeting over the back of my back bench so that it didn't get my, my back bench was like old 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 um 70s style and we painted it because to take out I was gonna we were first going to take out all the covers but they're all built in and they're built in really well and it was going to be a bigger job to take out and put new um 
new drawers and, and cupboards and stuff in there. So we thought, well, we'll just leave it. But instead of having that 70s, you know, it was that laminate. with It's got the white laminate and it's got like flecks of gold and, um, you know, ugly stuff. And um, so we thought we would paint it with that special laminate paint. But then we put like a clear plastic over the top of it so that uh, it, like the paint didn't chip off. So thankfully I have that on there so I can just hopefully wipe off all that ink. <laughs> But really, I don't think I've ever spread it that far before. Yeah, I know. Everyone knows. I don't mind it on my fingers, but when it gets up my hands and stuff, I'm just like, really? Surely it can't be that messy. And I, I'm pretty sure that my ink pad is clean. <laughs> it's not like it's dirty or anything. So it must have taken a while to dry on my hands. But, again, I don't actually recall going to that side of my bench either so who knows who knows now I've got to think about some bling as well I haven't thought that far ahead I don't think that I have any Tahitian tied dots of any kind so it might just have to be rhinestones or something I think okay so here we go I'm hoping I'm hoping I can have a tiny sliver of the Orchid Oasis because I haven't got much room to play with here. Um, but I was hoping, hoping, hoping that I could put just a tiny bit of purple in there as well just to tie it all in together and then my sentiment would go like that. So that's what I was hoping to do. Don't know that I have got enough room to trim anything else off my edges. I am pretty skint. And I don't think that I have got enough height to do it that way either. Don't think I can do it that way. That would be pretty cool though, don't you think? All right, so give it mm, a do. Okay, what do I do? Do I turn it around? I could theoretically go right to the top and the bottom and make it longer and wider like that. Or I could do it the other way around. Maybe I should do it that way. What do you guys think? Input time. I can trim so that it would be like that. And have a landscape card. Input is welcome. Input, welcome. I will get my rhinestone out. Oh, I just had a thought. Maybe I could use these. Maybe I could use the silver studs. I will look for yeah, landscape, says Deb. I will look for um I will look for bling. Oh. Maybe I could maybe I could put the brass butterflies on. I don't know if I got rolled a ribbon just unrolled the ribbon. Oh, I got these. I got them too. I haven't used them yet. Maybe they, oh, they might be pretty. Flat adhesive backed pearls. Oh, there's so much. Okay, consensus. Ah, uh, sideways. Yes, the way I have it now. Make the card base bigger. Oh, I can't make the card base bigger because then it won't fit in my envelopes if I make it any wider. So I can't do that. Um, turn it horizontal. Okay, we're going to do it that way. Okay, let's trim this down. So I can go as close as I can. And then this way. There we go. Perfect. Ta -da. And that will fit perfectly. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, so now I've got a bit more room to play with. So I can pop on my... I can pop this on. Oh, does that make... 
I might have, mm, 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 I have to trim that down. Trim this down. Whoopsie. All right, let's trim this down a wee bit. Right, so I'm going to trim this. And then I have to trim my other thing. Oh, I don't think I did that straight. I did not do that straight, you Wally. Because my edge across the top is not straight. I'm going by the scallops. And now I'm probably, yeah, whatever. I'm just going by the scallops because my no, my scallops, if I put that on a straight line, then I will be sorry. And then I'll just take you off a wee bit. All right, now I'm ready. Look at all this. Oh, what are you doing up at 2 a.m. in the UK? My goodness. All right, speaking of being in the UK, um, on the 19th of April, which is a Tuesday, oh, no, it's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. Pip Tudman from the UK and I will be doing, that's crooked, we'll be doing a live event together. So it'll be at 7, I think we made it 7.30 p.m. my time. And so that works out to be about 11, 11 a.m. UK time. So we are going to be sharing we're going to be making a card now i must ask pip actually whether she organizes herself beforehand or whether she wings it like i do because i am going to be winging it there we go look at that beautiful so so you are either up really late or not sleeping very well. Here we go. That's it. Oh no, no, no. You go back on where you were. Don't come off. All right, and then I can pop my sentiment up. And I think I have run out of all of my bits and pieces. Actually, I might just put a long piece on there. So I started cleaning up a little bit yesterday and I found a pair of brand new paper snips. <laughs> so that's good. I'm trying to I'm trying to be in preparation. But the problem is I've got nowhere to put anything. Like I don't even have any boxes to put things in storage. So I thought we'll just try and clear up some of the stuff and you know throw some stuff out and and I, yeah, I found a new pair of paper snips still in their plastic wrapper too. Like bonus, that's always handy. It's always nice to have a new pair of paper snips. I can't remember whether I bought them or, or obviously I must have bought them, but I, th I should think I've got another pair too that we got one year from Stampin' Up. So that's good. Okay, now bling. I'm quite liking these ones. I haven't used these before. The flat-backed adhesive pearls, but I think I would probably only use the little ones because they might actually pick up. They might be too pink, though. Or I could put a couple of the brass butterflies down just for something different. Or I was thinking maybe the silver studs, the circle ones. So for something different, what do you guys think? I can't believe I have them and haven't used them. Oh, I've got too much stuff. Too much stuff. Okay. Thanks, Diana. Okay, so any input? What should I use? Or is there something else I should use? Oh, I've also got, I know that they're retired, but I do still have, I do still have, where are they? I've just taken all my... I've just taken all of my embellishments and I've just, well, not all of them, but I've thrown a lot of them. I've also got these, um, which might come out well. These ones were with, um, not the pearls. Okay, get rid of the pearls, chuck them back. Uh, these ones were the with the waves. Remember we had the waves of inspiration? Um, so that colour there is quite pretty. And that green there is actually 
um, pretty as well. So maybe I should use some of these, even though they are retired. But I don't know whether you can see all the colours. They've got lots of blues and greens. So that is quite pretty. These ones? Okay. Let's get rid of them. And put some of these on. I mean, see, because this, this bluey green colour here on the end is pretty much the colour that's been made when I go between my blues and my greens. So maybe I will use that one because it's not as green. It's sort of a pretty green, a pretty blue green. And I will put, I know they're going to get lost over here, but you know, that's okay. I'm still going to pop them on there. So I know you can probably, oh, I guess if it was on your mantle, you'd be able to see these ones. Maybe I should put a few more. I mean, they are retired. Hopefully you can't hear my hubby. He's right outside my bedroom, my craft room window. Oh, I say my bedroom window because it was a bedroom. There we go. How about that? How about that? That one looks a bit weird there. Maybe I will get rid of you. Oh, no. Oh, you can stay. There we go. I put lots on there. So there we go. So I hope you have enjoyed that technique for something a little bit different. So if you are joining in a little bit on the late side, what I did was used, you need a um, an intricate die, not a solid one. You need um, to cut it, cut it out from your base and then you pop your base down and use sponge or ink blend your colours and then you use an actual pattern stencil and lay it down and do it again so you can see that I've got all the little uh, dots in there which is why you want a small tight um, pattern to go and then you pop your lacy die over the top and there you go so there you have it and the colors that I used again for reference is Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide and Parakeet Party. Thank you everyone. So again if you want the tutorial for this, make sure you are signed up to my newsletter. So my website is on the address at the moment. You can see it right down the bottom. And you can head over there, you hit the subscribe button, sign up and you'll get two free uh, tutorials straight off the bat. And then tomorrow morning, this one will be going out. So there you have it. Have a wonderful, switch around. Have a wonderful Easter. I'm going to cross fingers that I know I won't get my order now. I was hoping I would have it today, but it's not going to happen. I'm just hoping I'll have it next week. <laughs> so, uh, yes, have a wonderful Easter and we will see you back next Thursday at the same time. So thank you very much for taking time out of your day and watching. Don't forget to check the retiring list. If there's anything that you want, please do get it. Don't be me and miss out on things. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. And we'll see you later. Bye. Oops, got to end.